Dive into the universe of self-improvement with Samson Spectrum. Unveiling the power of personal growth one enlightening moment at a time. Brief pause. On today's schedule. Have you ever wondered why communication skills are so vital in our daily lives? Well, let's delve into this topic. Communication is the golden thread that ties our world together. It's the bridge that connects us to one another, be it in our workplaces, amongst family, friends, or even with strangers we meet every day. Effective communication skills pave the way for better understanding. They help clear any misconceptions, avoiding unnecessary conflicts. In the workplace, they foster strong teamwork and encourage a more collaborative environment. With strong communication skills, we can express our thoughts and ideas clearly ensuring they're understood and appreciated. On a personal level, they're instrumental in building and maintaining strong relationships. They allow us to express our feelings, needs, and desires accurately, promoting mutual respect and understanding. As we grow and evolve, these skills become a crucial part of our personal development, shaping our interactions and experiences. Indeed, communication skills serve as a cornerstone in our daily interactions and endeavors. The first step to improving communication skills starts with active listening. Active listening is more than just hearing the words being spoken. It's about fully engaging with the speaker, absorbing the information, and responding thoughtfully. This is a crucial element of effective communication, as it allows you to truly understand and connect with the person you're conversing with. Now you may be wondering, how does one practice active listening? Well, it starts with eliminating distractions. Whether you're in a bustling coffee shop or a quiet meeting room, it's essential to tune out the background noise and focus solely on the speaker. Next, active listening involves showing empathy. This doesn't mean you have to agree with everything the speaker says, but rather, you should attempt to understand their perspective. This can be achieved by echoing their sentiments, asking clarifying questions, or simply nodding in acknowledgement. Additionally, providing feedback is a key component of active listening. This could be as simple as summarizing what you've heard to confirm your understanding, or offering your own insights and ideas in response to the speaker's points. Active listening is not an innate skill. It requires practice and patience. But once mastered, it can significantly enhance the quality of your conversations and relationships. By actively listening, you're not just hearing the words, you're understanding the emotions and intentions behind them. Remember, good communication starts with understanding, and understanding starts with active listening. The second way to improve your communication skills is through mastering non-verbal communication. This form of communication relies on everything except words. It's all about body language, facial expressions, and the tone of voice. It's how you stand, the way you move your hands, the arch of an eyebrow, or the tilt of your head. And let's not forget that tone of voice that can express a universe of emotions without uttering a single word. Non-verbal communication is a silent language that can speak volumes about your thoughts and feelings. It's the difference between a flat, uninspiring speech and an engaging, dynamic conversation. So how can you use it effectively? Be aware of your body language. Make it match your words. Use facial expressions to emphasize your points and vary your tone of voice to convey emotion. Nonverbal communication is a powerful tool that, when used correctly, can greatly enhance your communication skills. The third way to improve communication is through clarity and conciseness. This isn't just about using fewer words, it's about using the right words. A clear, concise message is like a laser beam. It's focused, direct, and cuts through noise and confusion. To achieve this, planning what you want to say is essential. Think about your message, jot down your points, and arrange them logically. This will provide a roadmap for your thoughts, helping you to deliver your message in a structured, understandable manner. Avoiding jargon can also help. Unless your audience is familiar with the terminology, Jargon can muddy your message and alienate your listeners. Instead, opt for simple, everyday language. Lastly, get straight to the point. Beating around the bush can lead to confusion and frustration. Remember, the goal is not to impress with verbosity, but to express with precision. Clarity and conciseness prevent misunderstandings and keep your message sharp and effective. The fourth way to improve your communication skills is through confidence and assertiveness. Now let's talk about confidence. Confidence is the key that unlocks the door to effective communication. When you exude confidence, your words carry weight, your ideas gain traction, and your voice finds resonance. But remember, confidence is not about being right all the time. It's about being comfortable with being wrong and knowing how to learn and grow from it. 
Assertiveness, on the other hand, is the ability to express your thoughts and feelings in a respectful and straightforward manner. It's about standing your ground without stepping on others. It's about saying no when you need to, and yes when you want to. Assertiveness can be a game changer in your communication skills, allowing you to express your needs, desires, and boundaries clearly and effectively. So, how do we cultivate these traits? Practice, practice, and more practice. Start with public speaking. Join a local club or take an online course. Learn to articulate your thoughts in front of a crowd. This will not only boost your confidence but also improve your ability to articulate your thoughts clearly and succinctly. Maintaining eye contact is another crucial aspect. It signals engagement and shows that you value the conversation. But remember, it's not a staring contest. It's about creating a connection. Finally, learn to stand your ground respectfully. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to have a different opinion but always do it with respect and empathy. Confidence and assertiveness not only make your message more persuasive, but also help you command respect. The fifth and final way to improve your communication skills is by developing emotional intelligence. This is your ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges, and diffuse conflict. Recognizing your own emotions and understanding their impact on your thoughts and actions is the first step to improving emotional intelligence. This self-awareness will help you to express yourself better and to understand others as well. Next, try to understand the emotions of others. This involves empathy, the ability to recognize and understand the feelings and perspectives of those around you. This skill is vital in creating an emotional connection with others, which can greatly enhance your communication. Finally, respond appropriately to emotions. This involves managing your reactions to emotions, both yours and others. It's about being able to stay calm and maintain control, even in emotional situations. Emotional intelligence allows you to connect with others on a deeper level, thus enhancing your communication skills. To recap, we've explored five ways to improve your communication skills. We've learned how active listening is more than just hearing. It's about understanding and responding to others in a meaningful way. We've delved into the world of nonverbal communication, where our body language, facial expressions, and gestures speak volumes. Then we touched on the importance of clarity and conciseness, because being clear and to the point avoids misinterpretation. We've also highlighted the role of confidence and assertiveness in expressing our ideas without infringing on others' rights. Lastly, we've underscored emotional intelligence as a key player in understanding using and managing our own emotions in positive ways to communicate effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges, and diffuse conflict. The benefits of mastering these skills are immeasurable. They not only enhance our personal relationships but also our professional interactions. By honing these skills you can become an effective communicator, fostering better relationships and achieving greater success in all aspects of life. Subscribing to my channel will not make you my mind-controlled minion. I repeat, not make you my mind-controlled minion. Wink. Subscribe.